Hello my planner friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. So I'm going to be doing my plan with me for the week of July 11th through the 17th in my Happy Planner. And I wanted to do kind of a sweet theme. So I found this at Daiso. It actually was a packaging um, that came, uh, I had like a little brush, like a little butter brush or a little... I guess like a barbecue brush, I guess, um, for your kitchen. And it had a bunch of little sweets on it. I guess it could also be for baking. And um, I thought it was just really super cute. So I'm like, oh, I should use this for my planner and do kind of a sweet theme. So I'm going to use this. I've got all these really cute stickers from Dollar Tree. I don't think I'm going to use the ice creams because I think I'm going to make that a totally different theme. Um, but then I have some stickers that I bought from Hobby Lobby. And then I just, I got this pack of stickers from, um, let me see if I can pull the pack out. This is a recollections pack of stickers. Um, it has a lot of cute kind of candy, sweet, sweet treats on it. So that one was really cute. And then got some journal cards and some paper and of course washi and some die cuts that I want to try to use so I'm just gonna jump right in as normal and just get started cutting the paper and we'll see what happens so I decided to use that piece my inspiration piece on the side panel it is a little bit thick it's kind of a cardboard kind of a thin cardboard piece so um, I thought it would be better on the kind of on the edge and so I just trimmed that up and then this blue sparkly paper I got at Dollar Tree a while back so I thought that would kind of add some sparkle to the paper and then I just took this yellow polka dotted paper and cut that up as well and then um, I did also take some of that line paper and um, I cut it so the lines were horizontal first and then I cut it again and then the line I made the lines um vertical so I was trying to pick out the colors that I wanted to make sure I wanted to cut that orange out of there so I just wanted the kind of those colors in the in the boxes so then I'm just going to go ahead and place all the boxes in my spots and as always it takes me forever to do this part um, I was originally going to keep the blue as one long strip, but then I decided, no, I better go ahead and break it up. So I just went ahead and cut that down. And then I'm going to go ahead and, of course, and get everything glued down. And then I'll be back. ahead and put some label paper at the top just to cover up the dates. I was kind of hoping that it would work with the color since I'm having so many colors on there but I just didn't quite like the watermark. I didn't feel like it really worked or the dark blue color. Um, so I'm just going to cover them up and use my own labels for the days. I did also cover up the bottom row with some label paper as well. And then I am going to cover up the calendar as well. Um, I was thinking about leaving it there, but that's prime sticker area, man. That's 
you know, prime sticker real estate. <laughs> so I wanted to go ahead and get that covered up as well so I could put a sticker there. I used my double-sided sticky tape to get that side panel in here down to the side. And then I'm going to put some washi at the bottom. I have some scallop washi that looked really cute because it kind of matched that side panel piece. And um, originally I was going to put that light pink color at the top. But then I felt like it looked like I was trying to match the scalloped and it didn't. <laughs> so I just went ahead and put some of that darker pink and then I think it really complements that little side panel piece. And just did the same thing for the other side. And then after I get that all done, I'm going to go ahead and get my journal card out. I picked out a kind of like a hot pink journal card with the days of the week on it to include on the top there and I'm going to get that cut out. I'm just going to cut out the days of the week. I do keep the journal cards just for if there's any other times where I want to use the line part and before I cut all the pieces individually I just wanted to stick a piece of tape on there so that I could get them in here down a little bit easier. And then I got some of my pink and striped Kind of like a pink striped washi uh, and put that at the top and then I'm going to go ahead and then here are my dates to the top there right on top of that washi and now it is going to be sticker time guys Just that notepad it was a magnet notepad from the Dollar Tree and I want to go ahead and put a little list pad a little list on the side panel there I originally was going to use that yellow but then decided I didn't like that and I liked the green better because it had little check marks and I wanted it to make it a to-do list so I grabbed one of my Manby stickers essay to do and just stuck it there on the top and then I'm going to just use my double-sided sticky tape to get that in here down to that side panel piece. And then once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out another, I decided I wanted to go ahead and use the yellow, but inside the spread. So just took that sticker off because it was gonna be in my way. And I took the yellow one that says notes and I stuck that there on that Wednesday day. I just replaced it with another cupcake sticker there. And then I'm going to work on my journal card. So I decided to do something a little bit different. I bought the pocket pages that go into the Happy Planner. And I wanted to make my journal card using those pocket pages. So I just took that journal card that says sweet and simple and cut that down to fit in that pocket. And then I already had another journal card that said, uh, remember this. And I thought that was a cute color. And then on the back it says my favorite things. So I thought I would just list some of my favorite tweets. I'm going to put that journal card there on that side. But I did have to cover up the flowers because 
it doesn't go with the sweet theme. <laughs> so I just took a sticker, um, that lollipop sticker. I'm going to put that down and cover up the flowers and then take a couple of the little candies there and just cover those up. And then I'm going to think about it because I couldn't remember <laughs> think about what I was going to do. I'm going to go and take the journal card and just cut it up so I can have some place to write. So I just take one of my journal cards that I have that have lines on them. And then of course I have to put a cupcake down there because it had little hearts and you know, that doesn't go with the theme. <laughs> and I was checking there to make sure that the simple and sweet was going the right direction because I've done that many times where I've glued down something and it's going the wrong direction. So I had to make sure that it was going the right direction. And then I just put that, take one ahead and, um, glued and here that to that back of that card and then I wanted to decorate the front of the card so I just took the rest of the stickers that I got at Hobby Lobby and just kind of made a little collage of them. I thought those stickers are so cute. <clears throat> and then I pulled another journal card that went into that pocket that says laugh out loud and it does have the hearts at the top but I do change it out anyway so but after I made my paper clip I didn't actually film the paper clip this time because really it was just gluing paper onto a back of the sticker and then gluing the paper clip to the sticker so it really wasn't anything fab fabulous or anything so I didn't um, record it this time and there's the finished product guys so now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going through and just putting in some functional stickers because I feel like that's something I don't normally do. And I just want to kind of show you guys what I do when I do have specific things that are planned, um, how I kind of use my planner to do that. They have these little flags, the banner paper, and I just took a little flag off there and stuck it. It says game night. I had that little domino there that I thought was really cute and kind of went with the theme. And then the other thing that I needed to do was put in my scripture for the week. Um, I was going to end up putting it on there, and then I didn't like it, and then I decided, oh, maybe I'll put it in this one, and then I just didn't like that, so I ripped, ripped it off, and then I put it on that. <laughs> so, um, and I'll go ahead and zoom in here and show you what it looks like. What the, it is Psalm 37.4. And that is going to be my scripture for the week. And then the I found the sticker that I wanted to put in that little spot that says make today count. Which I have to remind myself to do on Mondays because sometimes you just don't want to do that. So I thought that was a good reminder. And then I have a planner night that I'm going to be putting there on Thursday. And this is typically what I do when I have something specific in mind or planned for the week. I just grab a label write down what I'm going to be doing and then I just adhere it to the um, journal. I mean to the happy planner. <clears throat> I also wanted to put down my payday. I am actually planning on making some stickers for that but just hadn't got around to it so I just went ahead and used a label. All right guys well that's the finished product. As always I will have pictures. Bye!